Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Let's Play series. Uh, I'm Immortal Mark. Um, I've actually done a Let's Try episode of this before. I could have continued right from there, but I thought, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. I want to start from the beginning, as it's been quite a long time since I've actually gone through this game. So, I thought I'd give it another go again. I'm really into the Evil Dead Am series at the insane? moment. Uh, by the way, this is, this is say I'm crazy. Evil Dead Hell to the King. I've heard the voices and battled the godless things in the woods. This. But I must be crazy to believe. It all started with that damn book. The Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Roughly translated, the Book of the Dead. Inked in human blood and bound in flesh. The book contained bizarre burial rites, prophecies, and demon resurrection passages. Professor Raymond Noby unearthed the book and brought it to this remote cabin where he would translate it. He awoke something dark in the woods, something evil. It got the professor. Then, it came for me. It got into my hand and it went bad. So I lopped it off at the wrist. The professor's daughter, Annie, helped me fight the evil. Using the book, we opened up a vortex to send the evil back. It worked. Big time. The girl died and I got a first class ticket to the 12th century. I led a war against an army of deadites and used the book to get back home. Back to Dearborn. Even got my old job back. Not to mention, I met a great gal. Jenny, assistant manager, arts and crafts. We were the perfect match. But then, the nightmares came. For years, they haunted me. Even when I was awake. Jenny thought I was crazy, but she agreed to help. We decided to go back to the cabin. Back to where it all started. She said it would be good to face my fears. Big mistake. Yep, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, Evil did hail to the king. Uh, this game is actually, uh, the space... Press the friggin' start button, would ya? <laughs> Why, Bruce? Fuck it off. <laughs> uh, this is the scenario of basically... The what-if scenario of what would happen after the events of Army of Darkness. Um, so this actually took the second and third film into consideration, which is really good. Obviously, they were fighting over those rights for some time. Every time they make a new film or a new series, they acknowledge one, don't acknowledge the other, and back and forth on what they can and can't use and all that, etc. Uh, this is like Resident Evil, like in terms of camera angles, etc. Uh, but uh, let's go. As he said. At first, everything looked the same, like nothing ever happened. I wondered if all of it had just been a bad dream. Boy, was I wrong. Whoa! Oh, oh no, not again! Damn it, it won't shut off! Sobar! Jenny. Axe. Oh. This can't be happening. Not again. Oh, yeah, it's happening. It's happening in a big way. Now, if you'll excuse me, duty calls. What? Shed. Groovy. 
Oh, I fucking love that bit. Jenny's out there somewhere. Alive. I can feel it. If I can find the pages from the Necronomicon, I might be able to send the evil back and undo this whole mess once and for all. Right, okay, so we've got a page of uh, Professor Raven Noby's notes, so this is October 9th. The key to dispelling the evil I have unleashed lies somewhere in the pages of the completed Necronomicon. I have been working for a sleepless week trying to reassemble and translate the pages when today, alas, something terrible happened. I sat down to rest and had fallen asleep. It couldn't have been long, but when I was awoke my work area was in shambles and the pages were gone. Someone or something had taken them. Perhaps the family of strange, awful people in the woods had something to do with it. I have seen them lurking around late at night. I should investigate their old shack, just west of the cabin. In any case, it is imperative that I get every one of those pages back. A local priest, Father Allard, has been assisting me. I tried to reach him today, but the evil has horribly altered the path to his church. I wandered for hours in the labyrinth the labyrinth, but I soon found myself lost. I barely made it back to the cabin alive. I've got to find a way back to the church. <laughs> Fair enough. So let's see what we got. So we have the converter, which is one of your scientific experiments with a little research might be useful. We can't actually use that yet. Uh, large gas can. This is filled with a large amount of fuel for your chainsaw. Uh, pistol clips, which, weirdly enough, it actually shows empty bullets, not pistol clips, but there you go. Uh, 45 caliber bullets for your pistol, and we've got two large health kits. Weapons, we've got Nobi's pistol. Uh, 45 caliber pistol, formerly owned by Professor Raymond Nobi. A double bladed axe, and a chainsaw, your best friend and social interface with the undead. Ruby. And of course, what tops off is the one liner button. Come get some. Let's go. Yo! Biscuits and mustard, just the way the inbred love them. Sweet. Of course, we got some we got bologna sandwich. This sandwich has a little too much mayo on it, but otherwise, it looks palatable. It will replenish your health. Come get some. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Yo. Hey, there's a page right there. The Necronomicon, page number one. The initial the initial manifestation of the evil is twofold. First, invisible interdimensional forces I would take control of humans. Once in full possession, all aspects of human form are lost. Right, let's have a look at the map. So what we'll do, we we'll go to the back of the cabin first, we'll come right round to the front of it, and then we'll go and visit the old shack.
Oh, there's a large gas can over there. Come get some. Oh my god, I died. <laughs> Since I play this, let's go. Let's try again. At first, everything. Jenny's out there. Get some. A generic multivitamin, chewable, orange flavoured, and it will replenish your health. Vitamins. With the proper know how these shrooms can be harvested for fuel. Let's go back into here. Because of the angle where I am, they didn't. It's fucking crap. Right. Now I'm about to show you guys a cameo from one of the Evil Dead films. Shit, fucking white rifle just appeared. 
it. demon things by the way are really fucking annoying ooh what's that a crank at one time this was the only way to start a car to be used on any primitive mode that is fair enough Nice place for an undead redneck. Safe state down there because munch on this groovy. Disco for me. Nope. Holy shit, I found it straight away. Munch on this. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Groovy. 
Perfect. Generally, it has to be manually start with a pulling mechanism of some kind. to help replenish our fuel. You have found your trusty old boomstick. Oh yeah. The Hillbilly Journal. I feel horrible about what's gone done to grab. Paul says we ain't got no choice and told us to forget about her. I wish we hadn't found those damn pages in the woods. Cause they cause things ain't been right since Oh fucking hell really talk. Cause things ain't been right round here since. Save me. Look, I didn't come here to save you. Oh, but you gotta help me. My boys, they keep me in here cooped up like a hen. I tried warning them, messing around with the black arts. Some things men ain't supposed to know, but they heard nothing of it. I curse the day they found them old pages. Pages? What pages? Where'd they get them? Near that old cabin, and now it's soured the whole lot of them. Oh, I tried to stop them. That's when they trapped me up in here. Look it, if you can get me free, them pages are all yours. They right behind me, on the wall. I don't know. Seems a little tricky. My boys were talking about some sort of amulet, supposed to break the spell. But they hid it somewhere. You gotta find it and bring it here. Then you can take them unholy pages far away from this place. All right, lady, you got yourself a deal. But I swear, any one of your boys gets near me, I'll turn them into furniture, got it? It's already too late for them, I know. Look it, one of them left a key over here on the nightstand. It might help you. Now go, before they come uh. back. Hmm, a bit bizarre. Okay, that's where we're going to leave things. Uh, in the next video, though, we're going to attempt to get the amulet and progress through the hillbilly shack. Anyway, thank you so much for your time, guys. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Julie Pipsky, smoke me a kepper, I'll be back for rest.